Listen, gentlemen, if your girlfriend or wife texted you, oh my God, with no context, she either A, found a sale at TJ Maxx, or B, she totaled her car. Hi guys, today's video, I just wanted to switch up the background. I was kind of getting tired of the fireplace spot. Uh, I was doing some cleaning in my craft room, so I have storage bins in my library, not that I filmed in there, have ever filmed in there yet. And then I just didn't want to make my bed. Listen, so here we are. Let me turn you guys around and show you what I'm looking at. How pretty is that view? Right? I mean, it just looks like a painting. So for today's video, I say, how many times do I say this? Well, I'm not going to do any editing. Today, there's really going to be no editing after, obviously, like my first parts that I always do. I just want to be a little bit more relaxed, but I'm also going to cough. And there's a fly running around. And who saw my vlog with the fly? Like, I just can't with flies anymore. But who cares? Let's move on. This haul, I went to Dollar Tree and they started putting up school supplies. I have no idea what's going to happen with school in the fall, but listen, I found some new stuff and let me show you. I don't, I can't remember. Hi, welcome to my channel. I have a horrible memory. So I'm really sorry about that, but have they ever done one and a half inch binders? Have they done that? They've done one inch binders, but one and a half? Did they do that last year? Uh, I don't know. Someone comment, let me know if they have. But when I saw them, I was just like, this is new. This is new, like my gut instinct was like, this is new, but watch. They did it last year and I probably bought these. So there's that. They have it in navy. I got it in black. And they have it in white and red. I mean, really impressive, awesome colors. I love it because I think these were going to work really fantastic if you have a teenager going into high school. These are going to be great sizes because typically, at least what my daughter did and what I saw some of her friends do, they created binders for every class. So they would only like take, you know, the binder that they needed for like that specific class or maybe even they did it between A day and B day. So one and a half inch I feel like is really a really good size. I don't think it's too big. It's also not too small. And I cannot believe these are Dollar Tree for a dollar. I got every color that they had in this size. But in the one inch, they had a ton of different colors. So it's super impressive. Then I found some new folders. You guys, these are crazy. For starters, the only problem is they have like a velvet finish and velvet just is like nails on a chalkboard for me but I still could not pass this up. And the velvet part is the animal print. So it has like a zebra print here. And then you can see the gold and black detail. I don't know what this brand is, IQ, Scholar New York. Is this a great deal for a dollar? I mean, folders can typically be cheaper than a dollar. So be on the watch out, you know, to go to Walmart and get stuff like that there because they go for like cents. Here is this one really awesome right has i don't know if you guys can tell that there's that texture there but what neat and then these were my favorite they're just really cool and they have like a metallic look to them kind of looks like sound waves kind of you know like what you would see like on soundcloud but really awesome same maker iq but this one doesn't have that velvet finish. It's just metallic and it's really, really pretty. And then this one, black one, and then what? I don't know, where did these come from? Anyways, really liked those. Thought they were really chic. I love seeing things that don't look like your typical, you know, uh, butterflies or hearts or things like that. It's nice to find a different variety. Okay, I really needed these. I filmed a hat collection video and that it's gonna be on my vlog channel, by the way, in case you, you, 
you've been wondering if I'm gonna do that video, it's gonna be on my vlog. But as I was putting my hats back, it was just a pain for me to deal with the Dollar Tree book rings I was dealing with. Dollar Tree book rings come out in a small and then like a large and I needed more in the larger size. It was just because the small rings were a really tight fit with the clothing bar that I was hanging my hats on. So I finally found some of the larger ones. So it's just easier, easier for them to fit around the clothing bar and then for me to slip, you know, the, the back of my hat and then clasp it together. And that's how I display my hats. And I was just like, okay, I gotta get rid of these small rings. I need to replace all the small with the large. So I got a pack of, I guess, a total of 12 there. And then I raved and raved about the Dollar Tree Jot permanent markers. And then they put out these. And these were next to the other ones, but they're completely different. This one actually comes with a black, whereas the last set did not come with a black. But they also have a different print. They're also slightly shorter. I wish I would have grabbed the original so I could do a comparison side by side for you guys. Maybe I'll film a little like overlay clip so that you guys can see. But I just wanted to say that if these are anywhere near the same quality as the other Dollar Tree Jot permanent markers, oh, they're gonna be fantastic because you get a black in here whereas there wasn't one in the other brand. Okay, so there's that. Also, it's getting real humid. Um, what do I show you next? All right, I found some cute new photo albums. I really like these prints. I hope I don't already have this one, but how nice is this? It's a four by six. You could use these to organize recipe books, which is gonna be great because you could also categorize them. I use these for that. You could do, you know, like breakfast and holidays or, you know, things like that. Or you could even organize, um, stickers and stuff like that in here or use them as actual photo albums this one's really chic with that faux marble look and then that one oh yeah yeah there's sweat there's sweat going down my back i don't i don't think anyone wanted to know that but it's it's there um okay i said no editing so to hell with it um, okay, next up I found some post-its. I mean, I think that's pretty cool to find this brand at Dollar Tree and it's just a two pack of those. Every time though I, I see post-its, I think of Romy and Michelle's high school reunion, I, just anyone else. But I really liked the color combination of those. And then I found a new coloring book. This one has animals, it has like an animal theme. I hope I don't already have this one. Um, but listen, I, I hoard and collect Dollar Tree coloring books, so, and I haven't been able to dive into all of them yet, but yeah, this one, I don't think I have this one. I think I would remember, ooh, this one's cute. I love the little mouse with the cheese, the mice with the cheese. So cute. Oh, by the way, The Witches is on Netflix. I just felt compelled to tell you that because she turns the kids into mice. Um, Sleepless in Seattle is also on Netflix too, right now. Anyway, so it's a cute little coloring book. I really like this one. I'm gonna have to color those mice today, actually. See, like this doesn't appeal me. All the, I mean, I don't know. Doing all those butterflies might actually end up being really pretty. I just prefer pictures that are like larger where I can do a lot of coloring and then things like this is a little too intricate. But. Here's a rooster. Oh, what's that? Girl, there, the way that this whole thing is built, there was a bird that one time thought like this was an exit and came flying in like fast. Like, like this bird had been being chased, okay? And he hit this so damn hard. I'm just like, it scared the crap out of me. It was inside, I was like, oh my God. And then I saw him fly back out. I'm like, how did, how, how did you survive that? So now I'm just like, I just saw that bird. I'm like, please don't come in here and hurt yourself. Ooh, this heat, this heat. Okay, um, all right, what do I wanna show you? 
let's go with let's go with these i found the new 2020 2021 that's a mouthful desk planners but they can also go into your binder they have the hole punch there which i think is really cool and then you can see all the different styles that i found and then even around the trim there's a different print so there's that one there's the green one and the back is just completely solid. It's in a nice little plastic um, pocket. So you could actually take this out. That would be a cool school supply, but it's a dollar. You know, sometimes, like I said, you could get some better deals at uh, Walmart, but just FYI, you know, you don't, if you just want this part, it's really nice. You could use it as dividers. Even if you're not doing it for a student, you could use it if you need to make a binder at home, separate manuals and all those things. Here is a hot pink one. Ta -da. And then this one's really cute too. This is like, this is like, this is fuchsia and then that's like bubblegum pink. I really don't know. So there's that. And the very last thing's brand new, brand spanking new. I know they did not do this last year. Uh, at least not at my store, but they, oh, I missed an item. I'll show it next. They put out new pencil holders, but these two are stuck together. How hilarious is that? I guess the suction works. What? I'm trying to get all the colors for you guys. What? So these could go up in a locker. I think that was like their intent when they put these out. I love this gorgeous pink color. Look how spacey and roomy that is. The colors op options and black. Yes, yes. This was a great choice because it's just, you know, like one of those neutral colors that I think works with a lot of different colors. Sometimes they tend to not do that with organization, things like this. You know, we'll see things like this and they'll do like a blue, but I'm so glad they did a black. I wish they did a white and even a blue. Wish there was a blue and maybe like the primary colors too, but maybe I'm, I'm asking for too much. I don't know. Oh, but just so you guys can see, it has a suction and even, you know what? You could remove that and um, glue some magnets on here instead and do it that way. Okay, then the last item, uh, these watercolors. Have you ever seen this being sold at Dollar Tree? It is by the Crafter Square, and uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to do this because I'm melting right before your very eyes. But um, tempura paint, and you get red, yellow, blue, gray, and black. Wow. What is they? I'm very impressed by the whole Crafter Square thing. This launch that they've done the last six months has been just mind-blowing honestly but anyways that's the last item i know it's a smaller haul i've been trying to break some of them up lately to be a little bit smaller but that's it for this video um i have to go shower now but anyways hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time bye